Hello viewers, 4DIYers here with another video for everyone. In this particular video here, I'll be reviewing this Master Cool Black Universal AC Valve Core Removal and Installer Tool Kit. A link to this tool will be included in the video description to Amazon. It's an affiliated link, so I get a bit of cutback with no added cost to you. This tool is used to replace a leaking Schrader valve on your high or low pressure sides of your vehicle's AC system. This tool allows for the replacement while not having to evacuate or recharge your AC system saving additional costs and time. While the tool is more expensive, in the long run, you'll end up saving money. Schrader valves on their own are fairly cheap to purchase. To start off, this comes with a hard plastic case where all the components are safely stored. This is their larger master kit. They have cheaper options available as well. This kit includes the R134A high side 16 millimeter connector and low side 13 millimeter connector, quarter inch FL swivel connector, standard valve core shaft, GM large bore valve core shaft, JRA R134A valve core shaft, Eaton R134A low side valve core shaft and high side valve core shaft, adapter quarter inch male to 3 16 female high side for GM and Ford, and adapter quarter inch male by eighth inch female high side Ford. For the video demonstration, I'll be using a 2001 Toyota Tacoma. This is a professional tool, and from what I've found, it's only available from Master Cool. All the components are made from a brass or stainless steel construction with a plastic knob on the valve. The high and low side adapters are anodized red or blue to easily tell them apart. Everything you can feel is of high quality, and any O-rings are easily replaceable if worn. As you can see, you would select your appropriate size valve core removal tool, screw it onto the main valve body, then thread on the proper high or low side quick disconnect fitting. You will be required to supply your own wrenches in order to tighten the connections. As a demonstration when not installed in the vehicle, here you can see all the components in place. You'll need to make sure the valve is open to push the valve core removal tool all the way down into the Schrader valve. Once it locks into place, screw down the retaining sleeve, unscrew the valve, then unscrew the retaining sleeve and pull back the valve or allow it to push back with the pressure. There is a small o-ring on the tip of the removal tool which holds the Schrader valve in place. After that is closing up the valve and then removing the valve core removal tool. Once it's been removed, you can then replace the old Schrader valve with a new one, then screw the tool back onto the valve body open the valve, push in the new Schrader valve and finally screw it into place. For another demonstration on the truck, first is locating either the high or low pressure port. You'll need to select the correct quick disconnect fitting along with the valve removal tool. Pull the plunger all the way back and clip on the quick disconnect. Rotate it to ensure it's locked into place. Push down the plunger and lock it onto the Schrader valve. Tighten down the retaining sleeve. While holding onto the sleeve retainer, then loosen and remove the Schrader valve. Remove the retaining sleeve and allow the plunger to fully push out. Then close the valve using the blue knob. This will stop the pressure from escaping the system. Unscrew the valve tool, pull it out with the Schrader valve. The Schrader valve will be stuck in the end. Replace it with a new one. Reinstall the removal tool. Open the valve and then push down the plunger gently. Thread it in and tighten the new Schrader valve. Once tightened, pull the quick disconnect to remove the tool. The valve is finally replaced and minimal refrigerant has been lost in the system. This is a very common area for an AC system to leak. I do have a full in-depth tutorial on how to use this tool along with how to check your AC system for leaks. Overall, I would say this is a very well-made tool and if you are working on AC systems constantly, then this is a must-have for your toolbox. Have you purchased this tool? Please be sure to share your experiences in the comments below. New videos are released every week on my channel. Be sure to hit that like button. It's a huge help to me. 
And if you're not a subscriber, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Thank you for watching.